Mediation analysis in process macro. How we can analyze the mediation in SPSS through process macro. In this data view of SPSS, researcher want to see the effect of mediator study hours between independent variable previous exam scores and dependent variable current exam scores. For the purpose of mediation analysis, click analyze regression process by Andrew Hayes current exam score is the dependent variable so it shift to y variable box study hour is the mediator it shift to mediator box previous exam scores is the independent variable it shift to x variable here you will select the model number 4 and press the button option in option you will select show total effect model and test for m x by m interaction this is the decimal places in output here i am selecting three decimal places press the button continue click the button ok and get the output now we will discuss the output this is the output in output you see y is the de dependent variable current exam scores and previous exam score is the independent variable and study hours is the mod mediator so the outcome variable previous exam scores the beta coefficient value is 0.433 p value is less than 0 0.05 so the first outcome explained previous exam scores significantly predict mediator study hours moving forward look at the value of study hours beta coefficient 0.763 p value is less than 0 0.00 so in this outcome mediator study hours significantly predict dependent variable current exam score and this is the outcome of the current exam scores so the previous beta coefficient of the previous exam score is 0.631 and p values is less than 0 0.05 in this outcome variable previous exam score significantly predict dependent variable current exam score moving forward looking at the value of total effect of x on y the beta coefficient value is 0 0.631 and these both two values are same total effect of x on y and the independent variable previous exam scores on the dependent variable current exam score beta coefficient is also 0 0.631 now this is the current exam current effect of x on y and this value is significant p is less than 0 0.05 this is the lower limit class interval upper limit class interval indirect effect of x on y and indirect effect of x on, x on y is significant because no zero exists between lower limit class interval and upper limit class interval now this is the part diagram of mediation this part diagram indicates study hours mediator partially mediate the relationship between previous exam scores and current exam score this is the path a and beta coefficient of path a is significant this is the path b path b is between study hours and current exam score so the beta coefficient is also significant and 
this is the direct total effect and this is also significant and this is the direct effect this one is beta coefficient is 0 0.301 this one is also significant so this is the table of mediation and in this table first look at indirect effect indirect effect is previous exam scores study hours and current exam scores this is the beta coefficient of indirect effect standard error p value and here the p value its model does not indicate the p value but it simply explain uh, this is the significant because no zero exists between the lower limit class interval and upper limit class interval so p value is not mentioning here and <clears throat> indirect effect you when you multiply the beta coefficient values of path a and path b it becomes the indirect effect 0 0.330 and direct effect is 0 0.301 this is the standard error and p value is less than 0 0.05 this is the lower limit class interval and upper limit class interval this is the total effect previous exams to current exams score and here you will notice when we add the indirect effect beta coefficient and direct effect beta coefficient it becomes total effect in this case you can check 0 0.330 and 0 0.301 this will be 0 0.631 so this table indicate total effect of previous exam scores on current exam scores was statistically significant with the addition of mediating variable study hour the effect of previous exam scores on current exam scores decreased but remained significant this one this one remains significant the indirect effect of previous exam scores on current exam scores through study hour was found to be statistically significant this indicates that the relationship between previous exam scores and current exam scores is partially mediated by study hours and this is shown by this part diagram. I hope this video will be helpful in mediation analysis through process macro. Thank you.